today we're doing Temple Chat on the road. We are at Highways UK, so come on in. investment, uh, then it's never really going to get off the ground from our experience engagement. Um, we recently, recently started a project with Transport for Greater Manchester on their uh, school streets programme in which they're essentially closing off the school street uh, before and after school to make it easier for parents to send their kids, to make it safer, to reduce carbon related transport, to encourage active travel, all things that we understand as good things. And so I thought it's going to be very easy to get off the ground across Greater Manchester. Unfortunately, they've been met with a lot of backlash from across Greater Manchester. So they've asked Temple to find out why. They did an initial consultation, which they found was not very representative of the county. And so they brought us in again to try and diversify that representation. Because ultimately, again, they've realised that if it's not a diverse um, consultation approach, we're not going to have the backing from all the people that need to be behind it in order for it to work. So we had a look at the makeup, of the, the demography of the county. Um, yes, there are many white old people and that works for the postal, the postal surveys, but we're not going to get a 10 year old child or a teenager to be filling out a postal survey. Great to be here. So, Highways UK is a once a year event for the entirety of the industry to get together to communicate, share best practices, share ideas, and to understand some of the challenges that the industry is now facing in the years to come. Amazing. And what sort of challenges is the industry facing? So, I think there's a number of existential challenges around cost of living uh, increases that we've seen over the last few years. That's having an impact on the ability of clients and governments to be afford to build the highways they need to build, number one. Number two, there are the environmental issues that are now involved with that. So in addition to increasing congestion and the air quality issues that that is causing, we're now seeing issues around zero carbon, how to achieve that um, within a reasonable space of time. Uh, and then more broadly, issues around sustainability for the industry as a whole. And actually, um, how do we um, try and find ways to make communities more engaged in the highway sector? Yeah, sounds like quite a challenge. It certainly is. And I think we need to change them back because, and here's the thing about roads, they offer a connected mesh infrastructure that already goes where people live. Now that sounds pretty fundamental, but that's what roads are for. They, we have a network that already exists that we can exploit. We don't need to build new stuff, it's already here. And fundamentally we need to stop demonising roads and embrace the opportunities that they, they bring, because they do. And I think from my perspective, I think we, we need new thinking on how to re-democratise road space and make it work for more people. So this is the next big thing. The biodiversity net gain, uh, traditional forms of construction we're very much about taking a green baseline, so a, a site that has green elements to it. Going through the construction process, removal of trees and or vegetation. You do your site clearance before you commence the works. Then going through habitat creation, typically after the construction has taken place, the landscape architects come in or the landscape contractors and they reinstate or try and uh, recreate what was there before. This, this is an illustration of what is put there after a, a short period of time. And after 100 years, 
you get to the point of what you originally had. So for all of this period, we have a deficit in natural resources. And the point about biodiversity net gain is to address that. So to move away from this traditional pattern of construction. This in itself has value and this leads to deficit over the period of time which it takes for those assets to regrow. So biodiversity net gain. Um, this is, uh, so the Environment Audit Committee has, has actually said these words. There's an urgent transformative uh, change needed to reverse the trend of biodiversity loss. You can connect it through to the climate crisis, so there's a joint biodiversity and climate crisis. And essentially what we've seen is a reduction in animals, plants and habitats in, in the world and in the UK. So the UK is becoming impoverished in all of these areas. Um, and biodiversity net gain specifically focuses on habitats in order to look after the other two elements. Government has put forward a 25 year plan, it's called the Environmental Improvement Plan 23. And the target within that, very long document, but it says achieve a growing and resilient network of land, sea, water and sea that is rich in plants and wildlife. Basically, get a gain in green elements. And the Environment Act introduces two principal things for biodiversity. The first is um, local planning authorities, public bodies have to do conservation and now enhancement, which means that as part of their statutory duties, they don't just protect biodiversity, but they need to increase biodiversity. And then biodiversity gain in planning or biodiversity net gain will come in now. It's going to be published in November 2023 and it will be enacted later on in January 24. And essentially this introduces a statutory basis where all development will be required to put more biodiversity back than was there at the start of the development. And then finally, a number of companies are starting to realise that there's a point to biodiversity, that society gets a gain out of it. And under financial disclosure, there's a voluntary system called TNFD, which encourages people to report on the changes, so report against negative and positive changes in biodiversity. That was published uh, last month, and there's now a corporate reporting framework so that companies can say, we know directly and indirectly our impacts on biodiversity.